Hi guys, welcome to Adam at Collar TV. I'm Adam, day 19 of Euro 2016. No football today, obviously. It's been a little bit boring. But of course, yesterday, England were knocked out and the final eight were confirmed. Portugal against Poland, Wales against Belgium, Germany against Italy, and of course, France, the host nation, against heroic Iceland side. I'm going to predict now who I think is going through to the final four. And let's start with Portugal against Poland. So both sides had to go to extra time. Obviously Poland won on penalties. Portugal getting that last gas goal from Ricardo Karezma to send them through to this stage. A good victory as well over a Croatia side that had Luka Modric back in the middle and were many people's dark horses for the tournament. Poland have been many people's dark horses for the tournament as well. But I think people expected Lewandowski to be on form and he hasn't been he hasn't scored for Poland in 2016 he hasn't scored at the Euros despite okay do you really count a goal in a penalty shootout he obviously dispatched his penalty they needed that to happen but a goal from open play he hasn't scored in 2016 so Poland if they want to go through in my opinion really need to get Lewandowski and Milik on form and scoring Portugal they looked better defensively against Croatia they looked more compact they looked like more of a team they looked like they knew what they were doing I was more impressed with their uh, fullbacks as well um, because I thought they'd been especially defensively a little bit weak this tournament but they looked a lot stronger as a side against Croatia and with Cristiano Ronaldo and Nani up front, of course, anything can happen. I do think Portugal will go through in this one. I can see Cristiano Ronaldo coming good. I wouldn't be surprised if it was really tight and then went to extra time and maybe penalties. But I think Portugal, they've got that pace. I think they can get Poland's back four. Poland, they really need Lewandowski to perform. I think they'll be looking to keep it tight. This is both sides will look to keep it tight early doors. As I said, wouldn't be surprised to see if it was a goal or two and then goes to extra time or penalties. But I do fancy Portugal to get to another semi-final. And then we've got Wales, the only home nation left in the tournament against Belgium's golden generation. Who will go through in this one? I do think Wales stand a chance of qualifying despite the fact Belgium will be outright favourites for this one. Hazard's looking good, Lukaku's scoring goals. They're looking like they're ticking and they're looking like they're more of a team now. They weren't earlier in the tournament. Obviously, Wales, backed by their fantastic fans, led by Gareth Bale. They're looking strong. They're looking like a team. They're fighting for every single ball. And despite the fact it was a narrow victory against Northern Ireland, who are obviously lesser of a side than Belgium, I do think Wales will go into it with a bit of confidence. Belgium will be expected to come out to them. They'll be the main side. They'll be expected to make all the plays happen. And they'll be the favourites for this game. So the pressure's on them. Wales have beaten them recently. And they can beat them again, I think. But saying that, I do think Belgium will go through. It will be tight. It may go to extra time. But I'm predicting Belgium 2, Wales 1. Wales would have done fantastically well to have got to this stage though. Excellent performance by Chris Coleman and his team. And of course Gareth Bale as well who stepped up when it matters. Then we come to the game. The big one in this, in this round. Germany, the world champions against Italy. Italy obviously beating Spain. Not many people expected that. Italy were 3-1. to one to win that game. Should have had some money on that. And Iceland, imagine that, would have came through with a few quid. But Germany and Italy is the big one in this round. It's difficult to call. Obviously, last time around, I said Spain were going to beat Italy. I was wrong. It's not the first time I've been wrong this tournament. Although, I have been right a few times as well. Don't forget that. But, I was wrong about Italy. They obviously got through against Spain. I expected it to be tight. I expected them to go out. They didn't do that. They don't look like conceding. Their back four is incredibly strong. Their back three and then Buffon behind them. Incredibly strong. And then they're creating things up front. They're making things happen. And Pele is scoring goals. He's looking strong. He's looking alert. He's looking like he's on it. So Italy are a threat. With Buffon in between the sticks as well. You're going to have to do a lot to beat him. So Italy, they'll be feeling very, very confident. Germany... You don't really need to say nothing about them. So this one as well, I can't see it being a clear-cut game. The same with the Portugal-Poland one, the same with the Wales-Belgium one. And this one as well, I think it may go to extra time, but I think Germany may just come through. I may have just put the jinx on him and, you know, maybe wrong again, but I think Germany might go through. And then we come to the home nation, France, against Iceland, the side that beat England and sent England packing. France, 
obviously Griezmann's on form, scoring goals, Pogba, Payet's looking like he's loving life at the moment. And then of course you've got Iceland, who are this great organised outfit, defensively strong, really passionate, got some vocal fans, they work for every single ball. Organisation, as I said, fantastic. And they're looking dangerous on the threat as well, on the counter-attack, so France need to be on their guard with this one. They play anything like they did against Ireland, there's a chance of an upset yet again, but phew, I've predicted France to win it, so I can't really say they're gonna go out, can I? Can I? I hope Anthony Marshall plays, he probably won't, um, but I think they'll go through, and I think they'll do a more comfortable job than England made of it. Obviously France, better side, the pressure will be on them, they'll have a lot more pressure on them than England did, and Iceland will be there just to ruin the party, there's no pressure on them. They can go there, turn up, just like Leicester have all season, and aim to ruin the party. Will they do that? I don't think so this time around, but what a story it's been for Iceland. So, those are my predictions. I think the last four will look like this. Portugal against Belgium. Germany against France. And that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Guys, what do you think? Of course, I could be wrong. So if you want to rinse my predictions in the comments below, please feel free to do that. But while you're at it, get your predictions in there as well. I want to know who you think is going to go through, how they're going to do it. Can Wales continue their heroics and go through? Can Iceland do the same and knock the home nation out? Will Lewandowski finally wake up and score a goal in 2016? Or will Cristiano Ronaldo lead Portugal to another semi-final? Italy are looking very strong. Can Conte sign off at Italy with a European Championships win? Or will Germany continue to be Germany? Get your comments in below. I'll see you later.